It is January 20th, 2018. This is the Watchman News, and I'm Mike Callahan. Our government has no problem finding and telling us about the new boogeyman. So apparently now our focus is being shifted from the Middle East and now towards China and Russia. Not surprising, huh? General Mattis spoke yesterday on this, and I put a report out in our daily newsletter this morning, and I'm going to read that report to you. I'll leave the link to this report down in the description of the video. So let's get right to it. Mattis countering China and Russia now top U.S. defense priority. U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis says the United States is losing its competitive military advantage over China and Russia, marking the central challenge to the America's armed forces. Great power, competition, not terrorism, is now the primary focus of the U.S. national security, Mattis said Friday as he rolled out the unclassified portion of the Trump administration's national defense strategy in Washington. Now, by the way, kind of on a side note to this, there was also a report that went out in the newsletter today that uh, was about how they have removed, the Pentagon has removed uh, climate change as one of the things that they are focused on tackling uh, when it comes to national security. So that was kind of an interesting change. I thought I'd add that note in there. I'll actually leave the link to that report in the description as well in case you want to read it. He added the goal was to build a more lethal force while expanding America's competitive advantage and prioritizing its readiness for war. Our military is still strong, yet our competitive edge has eroded in every domain of warfare, air, land, sea, space, and cyberspace, and is continuing to erode, the Def U.S. Defense Secretary said. History makes clear that America has no preordained right to victory on the battlefield. The unclassified document accuses China of predatory economics to intimidate neighbors while building and militarizing fake islands in the South China Sea. The document claims Russia violates neighboring borders and seeks to shatter the North Atlantic Treaty Organization in order to change European and Middle Eastern security and economic structures to its favor. Mattis also called out rogue regimes, such as North Korea and Iran, for continuing actions that threaten regional and even global stability while oppressing their own people. It always cracks me up how they always want to talk about other countries, but they will never address what they're doing in their own. Interesting. Terrorism, considered the top military priority under the previous two administrations, is still a concern for the United States, despite the fall of Islamic State physical caliphate in Iraq and Syria. The NDS instructs the U.S. to continue to deny terrorist havens across the globe, while modernizing the American military in a way that is fit for our time. The document stipulates that the modernization of efforts will focus on nuclear forces, missile defense, space, and cyberspace. Mattis said the Defense Department will also focus uh, working with allies who carry their equitable share of the security burden while building new partnerships across the globe. The growing economic strength of today's democracies and partners dictate that they must now step up and do more, he said. The Pentagon chief suggested U.S. military processes must be ally-friendly and willing to be influenced by Americans or America's loyal friends. Not all good ideas come from the country with the most aircraft carriers. So there you go. Again, the link to this report will be in the description. I'll also throw in the link to that other report about the Pentagon removing climate change as a national security item.